Hi, boys and girls. Um, today and tomorrow, you guys will be practicing what we learned on Friday. So I just wanted to go over it again. So I drew the place value chart, and this is actually um, number two on the page in your GOMAC workbook that we're going to be working on. Um, so I added the number to the place value chart already, and we're looking at the digit four, and number two asks you to find the value of the underlined digit. So remember that we're gonna write the value in the fifth grade way, which is always gonna be the digit times the place that it's in, okay? So the digit that we're talking about is four, so we're going to write, remember to hug it, four times, and it's in the thousands place, so four times 1,000. So that's the value of the four when it sits in the thousands place. The other questions um, in this section ask you guys about the different forms and how to write the numbers. So standard form is just the regular way to write the number. So we have it here, same number that we were talking about. And then we've got it written in word form. Remember, I'm not too picky on the spelling. Do your best, but if you don't spell it correctly, that's fine. So for this particular one, remember, we're going to read the numbers in each period. So the millions period, it's just one. And then you get to the end of the millions period. So that's where you would have a comma. One million five hundred seventy-four. 1,833. So that's your word form. Okay, and then the last one is expanded form. I'm going to do expanded form with you. So expanded form is just the value of each one of the digits. So you're going to start, <clears throat> sorry, you're going to start with the largest digit. Um, so we have, or the, the largest place value. It's a one times one million. And remember, you use your place value chart. You can slide your finger all the way up, and there's a spot for you guys that has the actual number 1 million, plus 5 times 100,000. These can get really long, plus, in parentheses, do your next one, 7 times 10,000. And you don't want to rush because you got a lot of zeros. Plus, you've got a four in the thousands place. Four times 1,000 plus eight times 100 plus a three times 10 because it's in the tens place. And then your last one is in the ones place and it's a three. So three times one. Okay, if you did all the math and you added all those things up together, it would equal 1,574,833. So those are the things that we're going to be practicing today. Um, so we went over them on Friday, but you didn't get too much time to practice. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. You can watch this video over and over again, and you can look at all of the um, papers from your math journal that I'm adding. Okay, 